Hello, Salam Alaikum everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Economics Study with Farhana. So this is about the third part of time series data analysis. Basically today I am gonna tell you about how you will contact the ARDL and when you will contact this. So I'll try to explain in details. First of all you need to follow the part 1 and part 2 which I will give the link of the video in the description box. Then you need to follow this part 3 video in my following videos i will explain the different kinds of diagnostic test but today i will interpret about the ardl model so let's get started if all variables are not uh, stationary at the same level that means i0 or i on then in that case we cannot conduct the johansson co-integration test so for example in your study some variables are stationary at level and some variables are stationary at fast difference in that case you need to conduct bound test from ardl in optimum lag selection we have found the overall lag of the model but now we need to find out each variable's lag value before conducting you need to install ardl in your stata to install ardl you need to go to your stata or you can write ssc install ardl then enter so the ardl is going to install and you can see the installation complete now you will find your ardl and you can write the command for ardl you need to write ardl space your dependent variables then your independent variables comma max lags then bracket 2 then aic then you need to click enter so this is the result of ARDL. We can find out the conclusion from this. But to make it easy, we can also conduct the matrix and we can easily find out each variable's lag. So you need to write here matrix, then a space list, a space E, then bracket lags, then bracket close. After that, you need to press enter so you will get the matrix at for gdp the lag is on for import it is zero the for export it is zero so from this we have found each variable's lag so after that we need to conduct ardl co-integration and we need to use this lag value to conduct that ardl co-integration so for this you need to write the command ardl then your dependent variable then independent variables then comma lags then bracket you need to provide for gdp it is on for import lag value is zero and for export the lag value is zero so then bracket close after that you need to provide a space then ec a space b test after that you need to press enter so you will get the result of ardl co-integration test like this where the null hypothesis is no levels relationship so in the case of bound test how we will take the decision if f statistics value is less than i0 series then there is no co-integration and there is another t value where if t stat is above lower bound there is no co-integration for example if we look at this value the first one is the 10 percent significance level then second one for five percent significant level and the third one for one percent significant level if this f stat value is less than i0 series then there is no co-integration but here we can see that the f statistics value is greater than i0 series that means there is co-integration in this study now if we look at the t value we have found that if t statistics is above lower bound there is no co-integration 
here we need to consider also the minus sign so this value is basically greater than this value because it is in minus sign so minus 2.5 is greater than minus 2.66 so here the t statistics is lower than this t statistics value so that's why we can again say that there is conjugation so in this study there is conjugation so for this we need to run error correction of ARDL but if there is no co-integration here then we don't need to run the error correction ARDL rather we need to interpret that result and we need to conclude that there is only short term relationship but there is no long term relationship but here in this study we have found that there is long run relationship among variables for the error correction ARDL the command is the same like that ARDL then dependent variable independent variables comma lags bracket your lags then EC EC means error correction so I had already conducted the error correction model and then found the result if you don't want to conduct fast the error correction model you can exclude ECB test portion and you can run only this portion before the EC then if you found the co-integration among variables then you need to run the error correction model with this full command here you can interpret the result where it is the long run relationship here you can see through this coefficients we have found the long run relationship this is for long run relationship now we can interpret the result like the regression model and here we can see the export variable is significant at 10 percent level but input is not significant so this is the error correction model of ardl from where you will found the long run relationship